I just found out from a high school friend of mine that a fellow high school friend that I used to train passed away today. This was somebody that I trained for about two and a half years. She was excessively morbidly obese and she found me on Facebook and she reached out to me and I was like, yeah, let's meet up. I'm going to help you. And I think at the time she was pregnant and she was like, when I have my baby, we'll start training together. And she had her daughter and I started training her and uh, she went down from 550 to uh, 325. So she lost over 200 pounds training with me. And she was doing so good and she stopped. And I just wanted to, I just wish I could have done more. And now I'm thinking about it. I was just on a call with some of my coaches and um, with some business partners and I found out while I was on the call and I didn't cry or anything then, but I got off and I was like, oh my God, it's more than anything in life. Being healthy just it's so sad she passed away from a heart attack because she was so overweight and you know I just found out she was depressed and the crazy thing is she reached out to me this year and said I want your help again and I was like I'll help you I think you should definitely get on Shakeology we'll start by with your workouts and it didn't happen it didn't happen and I just I want guys your health is the most important thing to you it's the most important thing to you. You have to value it. No food. She's a mom and she left two kids behind. It's really hitting me hard because, oh my God, I would show up at her door and she'd be like, oh, the drill sergeant's here. <laughs> Because I used to push her. I didn't care how overweight she was. I used to push her. I would hug her all the time. She would do so good. We would walk around the block, the complex where she lived. We would walk around there. You know, we would stop and stretch and she would work out with resistance band and she was doing so good. She was doing so good and probably one of the my favorite clients to train and I wish now that when she reached out to me earlier this year we just never got the chance to meet up and I just wish I was able to start back helping her change her life again and get healthier your health is so important to you I don't care how overweight you are or how lost you feel there's people out there that are there to help you reach out and talk to somebody and get the support that you need and no matter how rough it is how tough it is it's worth every sweat every exhaustion it doesn't matter your health means so much and I wish I could have done more for her. I really do. I know it's not my fault or anything, but I wish I could. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh my God.
that she used to make me laugh so much. <laughs> she would always, no, I can't do that. I'm like, yes, you can. No, I can't. You no, 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 that's too hard. And she would do it. And when she did, we would give each other high fives. Oh my God. She, her phone would ring and she would literally tell people, I'm here with the drill sergeant. I'm here with this drill sergeant. <laughs> oh. I'm going to miss her. I just want you guys to know that it's never too late. Don't give up on yourself. Your health means the world to you. It doesn't matter what it costs, make it a priority. It doesn't matter what ob other obligations you have. Without your health, without that, nothing matters. And it's so sad when it's gone at such a young age. And she was such an awesome person. She was really so funny, so awesome, so sweet, so kind. And I'm gonna miss her. I trained her for two and a half years. <laughs> I got to know her pretty good in that time and her kids. My prayers go out to you and your family, and I'm going to miss you so much. <sighs>